Hello YouTube. On this video I intend on installing and setting up a PNP bed leveling sensor on the GTEC A30. Now the GTEC A30 comes with the control board for auto bed leveling already included but not activated. The only video that is available on YouTube of fitting and setting up this sensor is somewhat difficult to follow so in this video I intend on making it easier and more straightforward for you to set up your auto bed levelling. The sensor I will be using is one I just happen to have lying around which is an 18mm version. This means I've had to have a rudimentary bracket made up so I can fit the sensor in position on the front of the printhead. Unfortunately I couldn't find any information online of the wiring for the 3 pin socket on the front but after looking at photographs on the GTEC website I was able to work out that the wiring is as following brown to the left, black to the middle and blue to the right as you look at it. So with that plugged in I was able to test that the sensor was working by touching it towards the table and seeing the red light was lighting. So with the sensor fitted to the rudimentary bracket we will now set up the auto bed levelling system. The first thing you must do is to heat the bed. This is a step that was clearly lacking in both the videos put out by GTEC. So go to your bed heating option and we'll run that up to approximately I'll go to 65 degrees which is a mid temperature if you think you may be printing uh, anything like ABS at a higher bed temperature or PETG and then you print lower temperature stuff like PLA find a midpoint to heat the bed to and then hopefully that will allow for discrepancies from one filament type to another so after you have heated the bed please check to make sure that the auto bed leveling is turned off so to help calibrate the sensor distance off the bed and to stop you getting head crashes we'll do a manual level first by going to leveling going into manual level and then we'll go to position 5 which is the position in the center of the bed at this stage we need to check we have approximately a three millimeter gap between the sensor and the bed then we need to turn the screw on the top of the sensor until we get a solid red light we need to check that this solid LED red light will stay on once we have removed the screwdriver and our hand from the sensor as that may give a false reading so once you are happy that you have a good solid red light it's time to move on to the next stage when you are happy with the adjustment simply click OK and back out of the menu now come out of that the printer will move back to its home position and once it sets itself back to the home position So with the printer restarted, we can now enable the auto bed leveling function. Click on nozzle. And you can see that the sensor is in a working condition 
and avoiding a bed crash situation. So now we must set the Z offset. Place a piece of plain paper between the heat bed and the nozzle. Remember to select the one millimeter setting on the Z scale using the green bar across the middle and slowly lower by one millimeter at a time your print head towards the bed. When the nozzle gets close to the bed, you can start to lower the value from 1mm increments down to 0.1mm increments, therefore not risking any damage, while at the same time moving your paper backwards and forwards between the bed and the nozzle until you feel it grip. Once you feel your bed is very close to being at the correct height, you can then change the increments down to 0.5mm for that fine adjustment. Restart the machine. And that's it, your auto bed levelling is set. It's just a matter now of trying a test print to see if it works. So we just select a file from the SD card and print. As you can see, the printer is now doing a nine-point bed levelling routine. Before starting the print itself. And away we go.
And that's about it. Hopefully this will help you set up auto bed levelling on your GTEC A30. If I've been of any help to you, please give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the description if you have any problems and I will do my best to help. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit the little bell button so you know next time I bring content out. If you would like to help support the channel, you can do. There are links in the description to either Patreon or a Streamlabs page to donate. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers, bye-bye now.